Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying four beverages that are new to us. I'm sure many of you have tried them, but we found them at Rural King. They were 99 cents each, which isn't bad. Uh, these are the, this is the Frosty Brute Blue Cream Soda and the Frosty Root Beer. And I have Stewart's uh, Root Beer and Orange and Cream. So we're gonna be comparing some root beer here in the middle of uh, the video. Uh, but first we're gonna try the Frosty Blue Cream. It says um, the Frosty Beverage Company. So this is for both Frosties. The Frosty Beverage Company began its days in an abandoned jailhouse in the late 1930s. Originally known for its root beer, they expanded to include a number of well-known flavors. Blue cream, what more could you want? If the color doesn't make you want to buy this one, the promise of a subtle cream flavor finish with blueberry should do the trick. One bottle is 160 calories. It likes, looks like one of those uh, freeze pops, the little ones in the plastic tubes that you've melted. Ah, uh, but that's better than any freeze pop. That's That like reminds me of a, a cream soda. Mm -hmm. It just has the hint of blueberry. Yeah, and not really strong. It's almost more cream soda. Yes, it is. It truly is. The blue it's just a hint of blueberry. Yeah, the blueberry is really secondary. Mm -hmm. But I love that I could drink that all the time. It's very, very good. I think that is still, and I think I like it so much because the blueberry isn't overpowering. Yeah, I wouldn't want, it's more, like I said, it's more like a cream soda than anything. Yeah, and I didn't say in the, the description, these are from uh, De Detroit, Michigan. And how many calories? I said 160. Okay. Now I said that, but I just didn't say what state. Okay, um, okay so let's try, so that one's a, a keeper, definitely. Mm, so let's go. try the root beer. It says frosty root beer has a flavorful, creamy root beer flavor. Enjoy with a dollop of ice cream or fresh from the bottle. Root beer float's pretty good. Uh, it, root beer float is delicious. Uh, it's a, it is also 160 calories, so same calories. To me, that's delicious. It reminds me of A and W root beer. I can see that. It has a touch more bite to it, but... Uh. Yeah, it does. It has a... Yes, it has a little bit more bite, just a uh, hair. Mm -hmm. But if you've ever had A&W, that is very, very similar. It's very similar to it. Yeah. It's good. Very it's, similar. And it's not overly sweet, like syrupy sweet either. It's, it's really good. So... Some of the commercial ones are kind of... Tend to be syrupy. They do. Yeah. yeah. So now I want to compare... The Frosty to the, the Stewart's. Stewart's. Yes, the Stewart's root beer. Fountain Classics. In 1924. So, the Stewart's is actually older, a little bit older than the Frosty. In 1924, Frank Stewart set out to develop the world's best tasting root beer, which he intended to sell to supplement his income as a school teacher. With secret recipes in hand, he soon opened his first Stewart's drive-in and an empire was born. One bottle is 150 calories. So this is uh, 10 fewer calories. Is it the same size? Yeah, 12 ounces. Their bottle's a fatter, shorter bottle. Hmm. I have an opinion. That's good. It's smoother than the other one. The frosty one, but there's a there's a funny little flavor there too. I like the frosty better. I do too. It um, to me, um, you said smoothness, but see to me, I got more of a bite from that. Oh really? I really did. I think the Stewart's is sweeter, and that's why I like it more because I like it. I like that overly sweet flavor, that creamy flavor. The Stewart's had that, and and I think the. Um, I mean, the Frosty had that, and I think the Stewart's is just missing uh, that sweetness. Yeah. Um, this is going to sound really, really strange. I get uh, like an aftertaste of celery. That is really strange. <laughs> it is. But it's like, there's like celery in it. That's what it tastes like. <laughs> it's good, but it's not, I like the, I like yeah, the Yeah, the Frosty the out of the two, uh, the Frosty uh, is the one mm -hmm. I would choose. It's not bad. The Stewart's isn't like... Oh, it's terrible root beer or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It still is good root beer, but when you have them side by side, if if you're gonna go pick one, I would pick the frosting. Yeah, of course it's all individual taste, so yeah, you know. 
But um, there are so many root beers out there, there that you could line them up and it would be fun to uh, to, tr to try it them all. It would go, yeah. Okay, so lastly we're gonna start, try the Stewart's uh, Orange and Cream and it is 180 calories. So quite a few, that is the highest calorie uh, drink here. And so we went from 150 calorie root beer to 180 orange and cream. I see a lot of sugar in there that knocks something back. Oh yeah, well it tastes just like the creamsicle. It's, oh, yeah. it, yes, it's delicious. It's as if you melted the, yeah. the creamsicle, the ones, um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it has a, like a, a crisp outer edge of orange, and then in the center, it's a softer uh, like vanilla, vanilla ice, cream. ice cream, and that's what that tastes it's like. It's good, but there's a there's a touch of bitterness there. A touch. Did no, you I get, get it that too. too. Okay. Yes. It's it, one of it, it, me being overly sensitive. No, but it yes, there, just a touch. Just a touch of bitterness there, like you like you've eaten an orange. But I but still like it quite a bit. I like it quite a bit, but we've had better. Cream, we cream. have had better orange cream. I wasn't going to say that. But yes. yes, we have. <laughs> I'm going to say it. Yeah, we have. We've we had have better orange cream than that. But I don't like that bitter aftertaste. If you, uh, it would be neat if you had those little cups that you put in the um, the the uh, things you put in the freezer. Oh, the freeze pop things. The free, yeah, yeah, you could make. You could cups. take one of these bottles and pour it. In. Yeah. Do you think it would freeze like that? It would. They would freeze. Like yeah, they freeze. Yeah. They're, then they're um, the texture is different too when you freeze so uh, carbonated stuff. So. So what? They also expand. So overall, <laughs> our favorite brand would it's be the, the blue frosting one and the blue one. And, okay, <laughs> I was gonna say, what's your favorite thing the here? Blue. This, yes. Yeah, it's just, it, I like that cream soda. The blue. blueberry is just so subtle. It's not overpowering at all. We have had other blueberry drinks that were like the blueberry was very, very pronounced. Mm -hmm. This isn't like that. No. It's secondary to that cream soda no. flavor. Why is that? It's really you're drinking a blue cream soda. It, yeah. And it's very, very, very smooth. But it's very, yeah, yeah. very good. So uh, they sell, uh, both companies sell all kinds of flavors. And, uh, but I would choose the Frosty brand again, mm -hmm. definitely. I would too. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.